The Dumbest War Nobody Talks About by Blue Jay. Please go subscribe. I'm actually very curious if I know about this or if I've even heard about this war. Maybe I can add some extra context. A story to tell. <sighs> Is it long? Sit I love the animation tale, already. We'll need to dial the clock back to the time when optimism died. The 20th century. Okay, nice. A story of small disagreements. So, 1900s. Okay, I should be able to look at this time period and maybe be able to figure out who was at least involved. There's already a couple regions I have in mind in the world. Chronicle of quarrels lasting through all seasons. A fable of ideologic conflict growing tense. So we're definitely not talking about some of the more classic into what was called a war, dumb wars. No shots being fired. Because Dad, I already know about the cold the bucket war and things. This is not the football wars, right? War. Yada yada, better dead than red. I know the drill. <laughs> what? That pathetic decades-long temper tantrum over whose money system was yeah, I mean, good and whose was the unholy <laughs> abomination spawned from the good battles context. of the ninth circle of hell? <laughs> no, no, no. If I wanted to watch children cry about how numbered paper was handled while throwing around tubes, I go. When you put it like play. that, it does seem like a pretty dumb war, too. I like my near military <laughs> conflicts like I like my woman. Full of crabs. What? I'm sorry, we're gonna talk about the lobster war. Oh! Uh, I do believe I have heard of this. Uh, barely. It's the mid-1900s, and Europeans haven't quite grown out of their main character phase, and need to make sure no one forgets. Yes. Oh, it's funny because the two movies are so different. Right. <laughs> I'm here too! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> this was a really awkward time for those countries that we just saw because it was just kind of like their dominance ending. Hey, drop it, drop the oil. But as the <laughs> 1960s rolled around, tragedy yes. struck. America had a jello mold phase. Mm. But other than that, nearly all of France's oh, nice. African colonies claimed they wanted independence. And as France loved being seen as the in vogue colonial power, they granted it Ooh. to them to look hip and definitely not because they couldn't afford another colonial Decolonization. War. This was all fine and dandy, unless you were a French fisherman who just lost their free reign to catch lobster off the Mauritanian coast. Oh, ah, boy. Slow your roll, Ratatouille. You need a permit for that now. Ah, yes, there is plenty of lobster. Don't be so shellfish. <laughs> Leave the area and cut the puns or I'll detain you faster than a pan- Obviously looking at the world map today, this shows you there was a massive decolonization movement that took place after WW2. But by 1945, the British and French still had a ton of territory around the world. So in the 1950s and 60s, a lot of places were gonna get their independence. Ah, don't get all crabby. I'll be out of your hair in a beach. The sea puns. <laughs> Stop! I'm Good. claustrophobic! Ow. But luckily, Good. a few of these fishermen heard some juicy gossip about this hot new spot just brimming with lobster on the other side of the Atlantic. So and for the, the French top, are for sure going to be involved. Free for the taking, being I wonder if the British get involved too. Open water, salty air, Brazil. The fishermen figured Ooh. that last part could be a problem. You know, sovereign waters or Brazil. Something. So they sent out a delegation. Brazil's always been a problem. Hey, look, these people are coming to Brazil. And to negotiate a license. But waltzing up to a country and saying, holy cannoli, that's a lot of lobster ravioli. How about instead of you guys fishing them to fuel your $20 million canning industry, I do the fishing and money getting part. Would most likely mm. be met with, ha ha, eat shit. This is my <laughs> what is up with fishing? And it leads to so many conflicts. Even today, France and the UK still have their little rivalry because of fish. This little beef isn't quite what it was uh, throughout history, obviously. Therefore, an elaborate ruse was needed to mask their fishing intentions. Oh. So they put together a pitch oh that was so intricate, so convincing, oh, so that Brazil. the Brazilians would have no choice but to allow them coastal access to their lobster, all while being We're actually not talking about Africa? Their objective to harvest them. <clears throat> Thank you for meeting with us. We come to you Because Africa was decolonizing, issue. they had to you find see, other spots, I see. Seismic reports. Sounds, if you will, of a disturbance in the deep, originating Godzilla. from your coast of Brazil. Jean, if you could just describe this disturbance for us. I wonder how Air France course. and Brazilian relations are today. <laughs> That's scary. And you see, it was those clicks, thank you, Jean, it was those clicks <laughs> that led us to lobster. Now for our next step. Okay, sorry, uh, I think I know what this is. You boys are just here to conduct some routine research on lobster nurseries and just need one of those permits for a few boats, right? Uh, you know, that is that works. exactly what we wanted to do. <laughs> Yeah, we got the That's what I was saying. A lobster Godzilla would be so OP, probably stronger than lizard Godzilla. Which license? The French fishermen acquired a license allowing three boats to conduct research on lobster nurseries. Which and in should reality, be a relatively non-invasive process. Yeah. But they looked at this permit and thought, <laughs> three a boats. Way to spell four. And everyone knows the research is only as good as your sample size. I and mean, the French like to be as accurate as possible. Sure, this four. was all technically in violation of their license. But I've been driving with a suspended one for 
for three years now and haven't had any problems. <laughs> Nevertheless, Western European you can nations do that. have this refined Please. analytical process to find out just how much they can bend the rules when it comes to a foreign country. So they ran the numbers on Brazil. Yeah, I was going to say, there it is, French relations on Brazil. Oh. We're good. While the fishermen thought they'd pulled off a successful bamboozle, <laughs> Brazilian authorities already thought something smelled fishy about these fishermen. And luckily for them, they also had a similar analytical process. Multi-century history of colonization and exploitation, including but not limited to. Oh, I don't even want. We, the list is pretty much infinite. Oh, that. Okay. Maybe we should check it out. <laughs> Representatives were sent from the Brazilian Navy to act like, as hey, We should see what France sure is actually doing. were honoring the foundation of these nations' crustacean relations. They should be around here. Oh, that's them. Red Lobster. Oh, welcome to the Red Lobster. We had an impist. Uh, they open up a restaurant? Two, yes, I've got the perfect romantic spot for you to roam. I'm so jealous of this, like, perfect French accent. It was, what? No. I mean, it's not perfect, but it sounds matter. perfect to me. Well, we're here representing the Brazilian Navy. Oh, shit, Brazil? Yes, yes, let yes, me, yes. Let welcome me, to the Red Lobster. Let me talk to the French uh, cooks in the back. research center. Yes, yes, yes. Let me just give our uh, head aside. Pierre! Pierre has been making some incredible progress. Oh, yeah? What have you found out in your uh, research? Say, huh? Oh, what? You get. I'm just wondering. So, when this conflict does break out between France and Brazil, I'm assuming, like, what is actually going to happen? Were there casualties involved in this? A little. No. Besides the lobsters? <laughs> Upon investigation, they found that, along with violating the boat limit, the ships were not conducting research, but in well, fact, carrying out large-scale predatory lobster fishing with a trawl. Trawling is this neat practice oh, where you put man, a net in the water and catch the everything. Environmental sneaky, impact. <laughs> sneaky what environment? Friends. So Brazil was like... Stop. I mean, they for sure didn't care about that in the 60s. They probably was like the least of their concerns in the 60s. Provoke the fishermen's license, sending them lobster tail between the anchors back on over to the land of macaroons in April of 1961. And with that, 1961. things to norm. This is very interesting because this is all in the background of like the Vietnam War, which France was still fighting in, and the U.S. is going to kind of take that over. Uh, excuse me, is there have been... Seismic reports. Sounds it's definitely starting to heat up over there. The fishermen there. returned in November to request another research license, but this time further out at sea on the continental shelf, outside uh, so of maybe Brazil's they territorial waters, which stretched 760,320 gumballs from the shore, or for Simpleton's 12 miles. Uh, this request was granted, and for the rest of the year, Brazil kept a close eye on them while the fishermen played their nautical system. version of I'm not American touching you, but systems. just like an early 2000s cartoon fish, that the is French evil. just couldn't keep their grubby little paws off so those luscious lobsters. Start going and on January into Brazil 2nd, territory. The French sea territory. boat Cassiope was found catching lobster about 10 miles off the shore. It's How like 10 many miles. boats did they bring back? Got you! Ha <laughs> ha! You're within our waters now, cheese boy! Are you sure? Uh. It says a lot. The French cannot live clearly without their lobsters. Hold this! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. A Brazilian corvette seized the French vessel for catching lobster without authorization, probably hitting a sick drift as it pulled up, but Did they then just... again, everything I know about Brazil comes from Fast Five. Anyway, by now, shit's getting pretty serious, yes, and Mom and Dad need me to get too. involved. So whilst the fishermen and Navy battled the lobster sea, the French and- France wasn't just going to throw them under the bus like this random boat, like we don't know who, who he is, go ahead and arrest him. Brazilian governments battled the diplomacy. <laughs> the war of the pen commenced, and at the heart of this battle, in the fierce political trenches was one vital question. Like, what is a lobster? <laughs> Sounds like a silly question, right? What is a lobster? It's a good, Why, I think it's it is the underwater good excavator, question. the crustacean of the basin, the pogo stick with a prick. But even my definition of a lobster as nature's gripper snippers so wouldn't have been sufficient Ooh. for the contending nations. They wanted to know Larry whether or not lobster. a lobster was a fish. France made the claim that a lobster was in hmm. fact a fish, so therefore they had the right to catch them according to the basin. That's... I, I am not a zoologist. I would definitely not say a lobster is a fish, though. It's for fishing on the high seas set by the Geneva Convention of 1958. Brazil, for their part, pushed the thesis that lobsters were not a fish, but in fact, an economic resource, a part of their continental shelf, that they had the sovereign right to hmm. exploit, according to a different provision well, that's an interesting of the same Geneva Convention. Way to put they it. They said, citing a treaty they didn't sign. And this wasn't oh. like your average 12-hour Twitter beef. This diplomatic battle lasted all through 1962 it's, in part. They both seem a little 
funny, that's for sure. Both sides sure seem a little funny. When you put it like that, at least. Part of 63, which is hilarious considering the other things going on in the world stage during that time. Yes. Kennedy is having us increase our troop presence in Vietnam. 400 also, he's about to get a shot. Start, but they aren't going to be enough. Agreed. We must be careful, though. And we we have don't Cuba. want to replace the French as a colonial force. Oh, the form. Cuban Missile Crisis already happened. ...in the area and bleed as the French did. That's a good point. Got any advice, France? So now with the pangolin being a geode... Uh, yes. According to our established law of modus... This is why France got beat by Vietnam. It was too busy arguing with Brazil that lobsters were a fish. It makes sense now. Soperendi derived from the Fly Eater Sarlacc Pit model. Yes, yes. Then, when taking the Laplace transform of this in a matrix... This is the equivalent the of the French equation, Oppenheimer. ...we find that lobster are in fact theory, fish. No, theory no, only no! Take you this so completely far. violates the Capricorn theorem! <sighs> Let's back this up. While that reality sadly only exists in my head canon, France and Brazil did mm -hmm. do their best to support their claims and own each other with facts and logic. Oh, Brazil's wow. evidence Facebook was that Reddit. lobsters were like oysters and that they both places. cling to the ocean floor, making them a part of the continental shelf. But France argued that hmm. when a lobster hops around the ocean floor, it's essentially swimming, making it a fish. This is which so <laughs> This is so funny. It really is pretty dumb. When you Google our lobsters fish, um, they, I guess they're just known as crustaceans, marine crustaceans. I see them more as like sea insects. Humans don't like to eat insects, but they do like to eat sea insects. Which prompted Brazil's Navy expert in oceanography, him, to spit some iconic bars. Okay. If a lobster is a fish because it moves by jumping, then a kangaroo is a bird. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's actually a pretty solid point. Ooh. Yeah, and if a kangaroo is a bird, then, then a flying fish is is a spaceship because it jumps through the air. Uh, a little weaker, but okay. Just, and, yeah. and if a flying fish is a spaceship, then Did a he seagull really say is that? an oil rig because it dives underwater. I mean, the only thing, the only difference there is like lobsters can swim and jump. Like lobsters can probably stay up in the water longer than a kangaroo can stay up in the air, but I still overall agree with them. Uh, okay, let, let's settle down. No, if a seagull is an oil rig, then my wife is a whore because she's just from man to man. Okay, so I made up the end there, but don't worry. The first part is a real quote that you can safely add to your Instagram okay, bio. Okay, good, While mom good. and dad fight in their room, let's check out how things are going on the water. But and I don't wow, want to. I want the last thing he said. doesn't care. Like the IRS at my front door, the fisherman just, just kept, kept going back. Completely unfazed by the international turmoil and I mean France just no wonder there was gonna be a war France uh, come on France monolithic tubes of death pointed at their face so the Brazilian Navy just continued seizing their ships going stop it well making them okay. sign a paper swearing they wouldn't return and but they the did were like, I'm assuming <laughs> I can't read this and when why just oh come yeah, back they don't anyway. read Portuguese in one instance a French ship was caught by a patrol how did they not just Arrest them. They should have just started arresting all these ships, no? Can you do that? I guess that would have especially escalated the crisis. Eastern coast ...to order them to sail the deeper these, like, waters. French At first, the fisherman citizens. captain ignored them. But while he may not have spoken Portuguese, there are only a few They should have just become pirates, a blaring alarm so they're not associated with the French government. But then they would be still. Postpone the confetti? Ah, but you promised! <laughs> Sources differ in the exact timing, but it was around now when the French fishermen were getting pretty fed up with being told what to do, so they started to complain. And by complain, I mean Go they France, personally they petitioned oh. warships for protection Holy from crap. French President Charles de Gaulle himself. Holy. De Gaulle sent lobster and granted the request, Whoa. sending gunboats along with five more fishing vessels to the Brazilian coast. Why did they need it this bad? Was the lobster that economically important to France? They seem to be escalating the situation to an insane amount. Lobsters was like the French equivalent of oil in the 60s? I don't know. The French sailed over with a lot more confidence this time. I mean, they've got defenses now. When has that ever failed France? I guess. But unfortunately <laughs> for them, Brazil is about as likely to let them swipe their the salty Maginot sea line. spiders as Hollywood is to pay their riders. So the Brazilian Ooh. Navy boarded these fishing boats without a second thought. Whoa, shit. I didn't think they'd seize them with us right here. Well, should we do something? No, you crazy? Haven't uh, you seen Fast Five? Much like a pilot to a gonna millionaire's fire? island, the French oh, Navy oh. sat there and did nothing. But the same couldn't be said oh. on the diplomatic front, as it was then that the French ambassador to Brazil visited President Joao Goulart about the issue. Goulart stated he didn't want any trouble with France, and made the surprise presidential order to release three captured fishing boats and allow hmm. them to fish. Honey, they reopened that red lobster. Terry, we nice. are a loyal Long John that's, Silver's family. That's all As France expected, cares about. The Brazilian people is the red lobster too pleased about this. And the resulting backlash pushed the government to rescind this permission shortly thereafter. Things then escalated even further. I mean, I guess if France really believes they are outside of Brazilian territory, maybe that's why they can. I'm, I'm sure that's probably the problem. And then Brazil is just overall annoyed that the French boats keep coming back. When in late February 1963, Brazil delivered an ultimatum. All Frenchies have 48 hours 
horse to skedaddle skadoodle oh. to the land of poodles, else they'd get the noodle. I may or may not have written that line while intoxicated, but I, I wouldn't don't... dare delete a line full of such eccentric flavor. However, I don't over know France, if Brazil would want to find themselves in a war with France at this time, a naval war specifically. This lobster war was really starting to get on de Gaulle's nerves. But France is pretty <laughs> busy they can't with fish, a lot of other then things. They can. Just kidding, they can't. Oops, now they've got two days to leave town. God, I don't understand this emotion I'm feeling. What you are experiencing is known as Who's going to be the signal, third sir? party no, that I'm comes sure in and this radio to AM. cools no, I things mean, down? Like, you know when a girl is kind of hinting she UK? likes you, but you can't quite tell if she's into you because her actions give conflicting signs? Yes. Those are mixed signals. <laughs> Paul, I'm rich in the president of France. I don't get mixed signals. I get bits. So don't speak to me yeah. about your poor people problems. <laughs> now, on one hand, Brazil is an important strategic partner of the French. The latter has invested over a thousand million francs it's in the, the height former, of the Cold War. And they War rely on the to... iron smelting, textiles, and chemical products so of Brazil. So they're not trying to... Also, Brazil is capitalist and can help fight exact nearby growth of communism. Exactly. So, this some would say, saying. it would be in the best interest of France to be like, wow, you know, maybe we shouldn't go to war over the ocean bugs that no. piss out their face. There were some conflicts during the Cold War that just didn't follow the, like, harsh lines that was the Cold War. The Nigerian Civil War. Like, I don't even know. That was just chaos. But, on the other hand, this wasn't the people's France. This was de Gaulle's France. And seeing as how this was the man who tried escaping World War One prison camps five times once while posing as a nurse, mm -hmm. it should be no surprise to hear <laughs> nice. that de Gaulle was a very stubborn man. And this stubborn man considered Brazil's actions to be a slight on the majesty yeah, of I mean, France. he has his own airport. So he did in, not back in down, Paris. but instead dispatched the French destroyer Tartu to the Brazilian coast. Okay, okay. Tempers are flaring, ministers are swearing. With well, this newest escalation, a battleship, right? Brazil is preparing. The newspapers have been rousing the public, and the atmosphere in Brazil is one of imminent war. The Tartu, by itself, wasn't a huge concern. Did France have a nuke at this time? Do I even want to go down that rabbit hole? They did technically have one at this time. <laughs> They're probably considering nuking Brazil over lobsters. What made things scarier was where it came from. A whole oh. task force of French ships merely oh, wow. three days away, containing not only a state-of-the-art aircraft this carrier, is seriously but also a tanker named Le Bays, real. which means the f***ing French. Oh, wow. Which is also a river in France, mm. which also flows through the town of Condom. Mm. Mobilize the navy. Understood, sir. That Wait. reminds me of the Austrian village. And the air force. But there's one with small ING. problem with this mobilization. It's the eve of Brazil's favorite holiday, the Carnival. A time oh. for wild celebration, dancing to music, stealing comically large vaults with Dodge Chargers. Oh wait, lot that's of fast, fast Five again. And this year, people were really references. memeing this whole situation. Even some masked revelers went around with lobster costumes. So much of Brazil's personnel Dang. were on short leave. So the but public was effort, very aware of this enough situation. Men, granted them war pay and launched ships to search for the Tartu under Operation Lobster. <laughs> Along with these ships, Brazil. What? Continue else could to you mobilize name it? to meet the French at sea. Because sure, their arsenal was full of vintage World War II vessels, and sure, they only had enough ammunition for 30 minutes of combat, and sure, they lacked adequate fuel supplies, and sure, some ships were decommissioned it's with mechanical problems, that. and sure, the French had a state-of-the-art navy and air force to counter them. <laughs> this is but what at I'm least they had their spirit. Yes. And Carnivals. family. So I'm saying Brazil would not actually want to get into a fight with France, I think, at this time. Planes that have been searching for the Tartu finally spot it, causing it to start shooting exercises, probably to deter the aircraft. Ooh. The plane responded by flying even lower to show they aren't messing around. Ooh. Oh, wow, that's cute. Neat little guns you got there. <laughs> uh oh, what's this? These looks like rockets. Wow, these sure are big, huh? This is Brazil just continued to escalate and escalate and escalate. Location late at night. Dawn approached, and the sea was veiled with a fog. In the distance, their radar detects something in the water. Is Making their way closer, baguette, tensions croissant. running high. They finally made out the Tartu in the mist, and... Oh, it's gone. Running low on fuel, the Tartu retreated mm -hmm. and was replaced with a much weaker ship. Oh, hey, oh. what about us? I thought for a second the Brazilian pilot was going to go kamikaze mode. Brazil does love Japan a lot, like strangely. Maybe they would do that. Fine, another ship is coming. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Oh, with the playing oh. field set and more Brazilians on the way, it was now just a matter of who would shoot first. Hey, maybe we should go back and fish where <laughs> we belong. <laughs> Africa. The French ships decided to head back across well, the Atlantic. After this, an agreement was signed where Brazil would allow limited French ships to fish for five years while sharing profits share with Brazil. Share profits. There you go. Would also get to expand the nautical... Weird that it took them that long to come up with 
a solution that they both could agree with and agree and like. Like it, it got it continued to escalate and continued to escalate. Maybe that's what needed to happen for them to finally come to the table and strike a deal. The miles of its territory, you know, just a few hundred. While in the <laughs> end, France decided war wasn't worth it. Ooh, to be honest, I'm surprised it got even remotely this far. Running it, some it numbers, did get... if one anti-aircraft gun on one French vessel fired for just 11 minutes, say in case it wanted to teach some smart-ass aircraft a lesson, you'd already rack up an ammunition bill more expensive than the $3 million a year the wow. French fishermen were raking in. But wow. to be honest, with the cost in street That's cred insane. for a European nation losing a diplomatic war with Brazil over lobster... Perhaps World War Three would have just yeah. been worth it. The Good Lobster point. War, eight out of ten stars. Like that. Who knows? Maybe Brazil would have just gone full communist, joined the Soviets just to spite the French. That was quite possibly the dumbest war. But there has been a lot of them in history. Definitely, I would say the dumbest in the 20th century. Dare I say that? I don't. I don't scare. It's definitely a, the dumbest war that nobody talks about, though. Yes. Again, that video was by Blue Jay. I just discovered his channel. Great stuff. Please go subscribe. And big thanks to my patrons. Destiny Drew Ducker, Nine Thousand, Sebi. If you hear subscribe this, subscribe to you. Drew now. I am the a uh, fat Norwal, Carmel S, no one pays Inquisitor Zarius, Marino's best AI. girl, Luxembourg, five six ten, Robert. E, Rye the Pie, The Great Ralphie, The Mexican Wicked 760, Zane Boy, Glad Ryan, and Dad, Jack Traven's Annoying Friend, and Why Am I Doing This?